Alrighty, this is PG-13, mature audiences only, and we are reviewing the tactical battle platform. This tactical battle platform was pretty awesome. Back in the day, I had one, and, well, it was made out of a crappy plastic, so a lot of things you know, end up breaking off. This laser cannon's pretty cool. It has a little radar dish. And a common, commonly broken part is a, these usually break off. <laughs> oh, this, because of this plastic, these also break off. The uh, engine cover, you know, there's, we'll have a look at some of this stuff here. I can just take the camera out. I don't bother why I bother. <laughs> Uh, so there's little engine covers so you can have them doing maintenance or fixing it after a battle and those open with ease but because of this plastic so brittle and it, it's the cheap hard plastic that uh, they used on a number of vehicles as well but a commonly thing that happens also is the missile tabs also snap off so it's pretty fragile but this was awesome and this one actually is broken so I'm gonna have to switch it with my other one <laughs> I just noticed that now <laughs> oh, I do have two of these uh, this is awesome it fits in fits the armadillo and there is five weapons that go in there and I think we can name them all one of them is grunts little weapon Grunt's little M16 then we have uh, Ripcord's weapon. We have uh, Duke's or Stalker's weapon. And Snowjobs, and as well as Aces. So those five weapons fit in there. I have them on the figures in the room somewhere, and I have probably doubles or duplicates or triples or who knows. I've got lots of those different kinds of weapons because I just love collecting. And there's a cool control room here. The control room also has a flood light <laughs> and there's some glass. They could have made this a little bit bigger and the hallway a little wider and you know they could have done a little bit more with this because you know this the weakness of this platform is <laughs> if they attack you from the back well you're you're screwed. <laughs> there is also a uh, little tow hook and you can just winch your stuff all the way up manually <laughs> you can manually wind it all the way up and it'll just slowly pull your stuff up and then there's a helicopter pad which you would put the Skyhawk on because that tends to fit nicer and this also folds up there is some cool detail on there this folds up and you can transport it Another thing with the uh, tactical battle platform, these things can raise up a little bit, so you can raise it. It's in the low, lower position right now. And you, there's the little hooks, so you can simulate transporting it with your helicopters. This was a cool, cool thing to have because, oh, there's also an antenna. <laughs> I used to play with this a lot when I was a kid and even a little bit when I was an adult because it's G.I. Joe you just have to play with some things and sure some things get broken but Mr. T about to take us for a ride we're going over here ho 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 Mr. T's got something to say <laughs> we have the uh, armadillos over here we have the Canadian version, which is a darker green than the American version. And I believe these are still all Canadian. <laughs> but uh, Yojo also says that. It, so. so there is a darker version. That is it. But I thought these might have been American because they're a little bit lighter. But oh well. I got Armadillo in the Armadillo. So <laughs> this is the 2008 version which you can't put the vintage figures on the back because the pegs are made too small 
And what do I always say in the videos? If they would have kept the vintage collectors in mind, then you could have had a, could have flipped it over and you know had a clip on. But oh well, they just didn't listen. So here we have the uh, bomb disposal. That's another vehicle. So you go like this, and it really doesn't extend or anything. <laughs> So you have to use your imagination. All in all, I think this is the crappiest vehicle. Oh, and the, though there is some other crappy vehicles out there. And I mean, this is supposed to be a weapons transport. <laughs> Why not just make a truck or a small little, uh, you know, little cart to put your weapons in? <sighs> but this, <laughs> I mean, what does this bomb fit on? You know. Will it go on to the Sky Striker? Hmm. We'll have to test that. <laughs> uh, what did they call that bomb that they dropped on Hiroshima? Was it the Fat Boy? Nola Gay was the plane. But anyways, sad ending. But war is never good. <laughs> uh, but then again, they shouldn't have started a war against them. <laughs> uh, so that's payback. But like this is a weapons transport, right? Come on. <laughs> Due to budgetary restraints, we can only transport one little thing at a time. <laughs> get a truck or get something else as a weapons transport. So, oh. and this bomb disposal unit, like <laughs> these, don't even like extend. So you can't even, <laughs> you can't even pick it up anyways if you wanted to. So, this is a, just two pointless vehicles that they could have made something else. <laughs> Ron Rudat, I hope you didn't design that. <laughs> oh, that's just, oh, no offense, but <laughs> these were crap. Oh, these can go on the, on the ten worst list. Uh, anyways, I do love my little armadillo tanks. A bigger version of this would have been kick ass. Like, come on. This version sucks. Because, you know, they should have had some cannons. Long cannons or something to counterbalance the weight. <laughs> it's, it's back heavy. <laughs> so you're going to do Papa Wheelies while you're driving. <laughs> Your tank's going to fall apart. This one here, I think, is a 2009. These also have like little attachments, so probably don't have them because I didn't get these new in a box. I just picked them up as I seen them. They're pretty awesome. So the Armadillo tank, the 1985 one, is nice. A bigger version would be cool. And that's another thing. Anyways, we'll go back over to the battle platform. Come on, let's go. The A-Team inspired a lot of people to do customs. That was one of the best things on the A-Team show. Oh, and I do have the other title, Tactical Battle Platform over here. And just looking over there, and that one is intact. The missile launcher bottom part. Hopefully all of it looks good. So I might have to switch that out so I have a nice minty fresh one. So that's why you have to get two of everything sometimes. <laughs> or three. <laughs> it depends on how big you want your collection. Oh, just, oh I can't wait to re review that. <laughs> but anyways. Also, the night landing craft, I also forgot to mention. Had this little black knife. And it came with this machine gun. So like I said, the parts are probably somewhere in the room because oh, we got so much all over the place <laughs> oh, maybe I should get some time and organize it but with four kids and a sore ass right now you can't do as much oh it just sucks I don't know if the uh, dragonfly will fit on here nicely it might I should be able to it's a helicopter pad but again this kind of you know looks nicer so I don't think we missed out anything on the battle platform other than the little ladder over here. 
Ah, made it swap the deck. <laughs> swap it yourself. <laughs> Call Molly made. <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot of detail in this control room. It's pretty nice. So, you know, they did, Hasbro did go to some lengths, but again, they used the crappy hard plastic that gets so brittle and falls apart. And when I was a kid, I played with this, like, to hell and back, and it just, all these things would snap off, so you'd, like, put your missiles on partly. <laughs> Even these little cannon things, I remember on mine as a kid, would snap off. The radar dish snaps off. So this thing was not designed too well to handle the playability that, well, kids and adults seem to have. <laughs> We love to play with our toys. This missile, or this weapons rack also pulls out. So, I think we've covered it. There's a little stairs here. And that leads up to the thing. There we go. <laughs> that leads up to the hell, the helipad. Oh, I don't think there's a glass in the spotlight. I don't think there was one. So that cover covers the tactical battle platform. And oh, the awesomest, best vehicle of all times, the weapons transport. I just gotta have it. I think it's missing an antenna. Oh my god. <laughs> what would you do without the battle platform? <laughs> Even the A team would would have would have laughed at that. <laughs> There's no machine gun in there. <laughs> the bomb disposal unit. <laughs> This is it's like part of a vehicle. Where's the rest of it? <laughs> oh, this, they should, you know, they could design a robot. A cool robot for the future <laughs> to replace this junk. And make sure it has an extension where you can extend it to be able to actually pick up the bomb disposal. <laughs> oh. These tanks here also, uh, you know, they got the little four wheels. So. That's the underside. Nothing too too much to it. 1985. And obviously this rotates. And that's pretty plain in here, other than the details. So again, hollow. Cool little wheels. These wheels are super durable. So hats off. They made a nice little tiny tank that's durable. <laughs> Jeez. You know. They could have done more, and they should. So we're gonna, con we're not concluding. I, um, there's still a few more things for 1985 that we have to look at, and that is the Awe Striker and the Snowcat. So we're gonna take a look at that. You know, I don't understand why the battle platform, sorry, the tactical battle platform never came with a, a figure that would have been cool you know they could have they could have created somebody for that but hmm if they were to redesign this in the future definitely have to make it bigger you know you can't even you got no prisoner pad either <laughs> there's no prison cell the whole no holding cell <laughs> well, another thing that comes off on these is the, the tips as well but thanks for watching and remember Cobra! Yo, Joe!